Hey, thank you for joining us. Another episode of Cooking with Greek People. I'm here with my lovely co-host, Aurora. And uh, hey, we're excited to bring another episode here to you guys. Um, this episode's uh, pretty fun. We're going to be in Thessaloniki with Chef uh, Stefanos Ioannidis, who is Hi. going to prepare a, an awesome dish for us. And we're going to introduce uh, Chef Stefanos here in a minute. But we just want to let you all know that we're back now. I know it's been kind of tough going with COVID and everything. We've had difficulty uh, just bringing the show to you. But uh, now it seems like we're able to get our guests back. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And we hope you you join us. And uh, now we're going to introduce you to Chef Stefanos. Hello, Chef. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> it was great to see you. Thank you I'm for happy joining to, us. I'm hey. happy to join this uh, show. Well, we're we're happy to have you here. You know, it's before we get started, Chef. Um, just wanted wanted to ask you a little bit about your about you and your career. Is this um, is being uh, you've worked all over the world? Where are some of the places that you worked at? Yes, yes, I've been in many places in the world. I've been in uh, Dubai, in Grand Hyatt, Dubai, two years in 2005, 2007. I've been in Thailand. I've been in uh, all over Europe, in Paris. I work with many chefs, many different kind of uh, cuisines, and uh, 20. I'm doing this thing 20 years. Wow. Uh, now I'm an executive chef in Alexander's Palace in Halkidiki, near uh, to St. Mount, St. Uh, Uranupoli. And uh, I have a cons uh, consulting here in a Saloniki Papillon restaurant, bar restaurant. Uh, so people can, <laughs> can see you if, you if you live in Thessaloniki? Yes, I've been in, uh, in Tuba area in Thessaloniki. Perfect, perfect. So... Uh, anybody who lives in Thessaloniki or is traveling there, this is where you want to go. Uh, and did you always want to be a chef? Is this is this something that was a dream of yours as a as a young man? Or no, no, actually not. Uh, when I was going high school, I was not very good in uh, to read the uh, normal uh, books and uh, all the situation about school. And uh, I found the. Uh, Actually, I found something uh, to have in the beginning, something to do it in my life. But slowly, slowly, I started in Creta, in Creta Island, two years in Heraklion. And uh, slowly, slowly, I love this uh, job because it gave me many pleasures. It's very creative. Uh, you create, you create plates. People, uh, when uh, they like your plates, you feel very satisfied. It's uh, so. And now I'm in love with this job. Oh. What do you think? Tell me, what do you think about Gordon Ramsay? Uh, did you Gordon. hear what he said? Gordon, Chef Gordon Ramsay? About yes, I know. Uh, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay is one part uh, of the life of the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, you hear, did you hear what he said about uh, Greek cuisine being better than Italian? Yes, I, I hear that. <laughs> I, I, I be, you know, I, be, I believe that, that Greek cuisine is... Uh, much better in uh, from Ital than Italian because we have a deep, bigger biggest uh, bigger variety of flavors and uh, plates, but we don't have uh, so much. Uh, we don't have good promotion like Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, so think it, between, it, I think between him, Anthony Bourdain fell in love with Greece after yes, yes. Uh, just uh, hating everything Greek because he had a bad experience in. Uh, with uh, working in uh, Greek restaurants in New York, and he never wanted to come here. Then he, I think he came to, to Greece three times uh, after he just fell in love with it. So, so we we yeah. uh, all fell in love with Greek cuisine here, and we have people that I can see are on the show. Uh, uh, do you want to call out some of these people that are on the show? Hi, mom. Yeah, and we have. Hi, Carolina. <laughs> And we have George Samadavalaki's uh, commenting as well. Thank you guys all for joining us. And I saw, sure. I saw, I saw him in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys live he, in the same neighborhood yeah. too. So. Yes, he he, he he borrowed me the his equipment. 
Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Thank you, George. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be frequenting your restaurant, too. Um, tell, so, Chef, tell us uh, about what you're going to be preparing today. So, today we will prepare one uh, dish that uh, is most summer dish, but uh, for me, it doesn't matter that now it's winter. Uh, the most uh, important that is very, very healthy because we have a fish, we have a, we have a sea bass, sea bass uh, fillets. I took the whole fish today in the morning and I took the fillets. I didn't want to make it now because right. you had uh, for more to be more fast. So we have uh, two nice fresh fillets from sea bass and we have the vegetables. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll cut uh, the vegetables uh, julienne, something like uh, thin and uh, thin pieces. We'll put it all together. We'll marinate with lemon juice, olive oil, uh, some herbs to take flavor. And after we'll put, uh, I have, I have uh, this, this kind of equipment from uh, the hotel. I took it actually, this one. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's, yes, <laughs> I bought it. But I, yeah, iron it, skillet. It, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's iron. It's very, it's very good for, uh, to put in the oven, and uh, it makes uh, the good food. But if someone doesn't have this one, no need. Also, the normal, uh, like this one, it's you can do your you can do your job as, as well. You know, okay. you can put mo more fish, more vegetables, and uh, you can do it. So I think I will start slowly, slowly to cut the vegetables. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll take uh, uh, we'll take this. And uh, before I start uh, to cut, the recipe is writing fennel. Uh, fennel, uh, the market has not fennel. Uh, I took, <laughs> I went in many supermarkets, many in many places I couldn't yeah. find. So uh, I will put some carrot, no problem, uh, instead of fennel, and I will put some ouzo. So I will give the flavor of fennel inside oh. my piece. Perfect. Because the fennel, Pinocchio, it has a, it smells like ouzo, so oh. so no problem. That's that's why the chefs, when they cannot do something, they think and they do it something different. So no problem. So I'm taking the zucchini. I take the outside part. Okay, and I start, I don't know if you see. I, I cut all my vegetables like this, like spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so because, why I, I cut uh, thin? Because I want, when I put my face inside the oven, inside the, uh, this special paper, the I want. Paper, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't. I cannot say it very good in English. <laughs> uh, I want it to be cooked in the same time like the fish, because if yeah. if you leave if you cut bigger bigger uh, pieces, it will not be ready. Yeah. So yeah. I want when the, I take outside from the oven, everything to be okay. That's a neat trick, you know, making sure that you know the for everything to be done at the same time. Yes, of course, you know, because uh, the carrot has a different uh, time. The zucchini has different uh, cooking time. Mm -hmm. The potato, different. It's a little bit of experience to know uh, when the vegetable is hard, it takes more time to be cooked, you know? Yeah. And I like this plate. I had this plate in Sunny, in Sunny Hotel, in uh, in Halkidiki. Very good hotel as well. 
mm-hmm. one of the best in, in the world. Sunny, sunny hotel, it's also very good. And uh, I had this plate in my menu, and all oh. the people, all the tourists, they love it. They love it because it, it's it's a fresh, it's and not heavy because we don't grill, we don't put in the olive uh, too much oil. It's very very healthy. Right. That's and now yeah. and now with all the situation that we have with COVID and all these things, all the people they take care about they. They need more yeah. healthy food. More yeah. healthy food. Yes. You know that's. I think that's probably the best thing that wow, yeah to come of this. If we can say anything good has come of it, is that people are starting to look at nutrition. And, yeah. And and but of you course. know, Greece, but you know, Greece has been on the forefront of of good nutritional habits. You know, with an emphasis on vegetables and yes. Um, now this one is the leek. You know, leek. Yes. Pras- yes. Yeah. Prasso. It's, it's one of my favorites as well. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's similar, it's similar uh, the onion. Uh, a a leek, leek is uh, like cousins with the onions. Uh, cousins. Mm-hmm. But it's more sweet. That's why I love it more. Mm-hmm. I can't do this one as well. I put all together, all mixed. Okay. No need to cut more. If if I make one portion, now I'll make you one portion, you know? Right. No need to cut more, you know? It's it's okay. It's okay. I put here. And you know what's the problem uh, with uh, the chefs? What's that? Uh, it's a problem when they cook in their kitchens. It's like a nightmare for them. Oh. Because we used to work in, in a, how to say, a, with other equipment, a, more, pro, more more professional. So, so when they were going inside our kitchens, we hitting our heads and uh, we make uh, damages everywhere. We, we are very clumsy. <laughs> in in uh, in uh, inside the home. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> now I cut the carrot in the same way I cut the, the previous vegetables. Mm-hmm. How much time you have? It's like <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, this is- this is the stuff we love. We love seeing this. Yeah, look at him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and you know, and people will come in and out of the stream, but then what we do later is we edit it so it's more kind of condensed. And uh, then people can, because we have the ingredients already posted, they'll look at the. Yeah, the, the with a different, and, yes. And I want to say, is, me, I put these vegetables. There is no problem. If someone wants to put something else, it's. No, it, there is no problem. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Now we take the tomatoes. We take only the outside part. The other parts we don't we don't throw in the garbage. It's we keep and we make a, a tomato sauce or we put in another oh. food. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Ne- in uh, inside the kitchens, we never uh, throw anything. There is for everything there is a use. Hmm. So nice. I cut the tomato as well, like spaghetti, things spaghetti. Mm-hmm. In uh, California, what is uh, their favorite food? What they like it? People to eat there. You know, um, they have it. They have it. Food. <laughs> yeah, you know, fish tacos seem to be mm-hmm. pretty popular. Oh yeah. Yeah, fish tacos. Fish tacos. Seem, fish tacos. Yeah. yeah, seem very popular here. Um, fish and fish and chips. Uh, I don't think you know fish and chips. Not so much. Maybe at the Irish pubs, but there's not very many Irish pubs here. Okay. We cut some parsley as well, a little, a little bit just for flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And now what 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 we do? Just I will wash a little bit my thing. Okay. So now. I will take it a bit bigger. You see, I have problems. I can <laughs> when, when I'm, I, ha I have to cook for 800 people, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, how hard is it to cook for one or two now? <laughs> that, that's why I tell you, inside the kitchen, the home is nightmare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we have the, the vegetables, okay. And we want to marinate. We marinate with, with lemon. Mm -hmm. We put a lemon. Okay. We, we like to be sour, you know. To... Oh yeah. Yeah. We love these things. Olive oil, Greek cuisine without olive oil, there's nothing. <laughs> okay. We put a little bit, just two or three drops of uzo. No more, because ouzo is very strong. I just put the ouzo to replace the fennel because I couldn't find the fennel, and uh, some and a little bit thyme, fresh thyme. Oh, okay. Okay, from my I have plants outside in the garden in my oh. and I, I'm taking it from there thyme, rosemary, fresh oregano. Just a little bit. Thyme is my favorite herb. My favorite. Okay. Yeah. I put thyme uh, in the 90% of my food. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Only this one. Ah, okay. I forget to tell you before we make the juice, the lemon juice inside, mm -hmm. uh, we take some zest from, the le from outside on the skin. Okay, not so much, it's okay. Okay, so we have all the vegetables, we have the olive oil, we have the lemon juice, we have the lemon zest, we have the thyme, we have the little bit, two, three drops of fuzo. We just, we mix a little bit, okay. Okay. And now, we are coming here. Also, this one, no need anymore. No need, no need. So this is where you use the parchment paper? Yes, yes. You use the I, cooking sheet parchment paper. To yes, yes. Them. Because? And after we cover also, and it it will be cooked with his uh, flavors, you know, all the vegetables, the fish, it will be cooked together without the heat to heat straight the food. Mm -hmm. It's like how to say? It's like a steam, steam food. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I put a little in the base. down here okay okay ah, as well we forgot to put a little bit olive oil in the fish as well and some salt if someone wants to use uh, some pepper you know there is no problem uh, me i just use a little bit salt I don't uh, use so much salt because uh, if you remember, I put salt inside the vegetables as well. Okay. Right, right. So. I have here. A little bit more. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. 
so that's it. Wow, that looks delicious. It's like it's like this, you know. And after we'll put the uh, ah okay some uh, one secret for this paper mm -hmm. is because when you put it doesn't stay in his place. So one secret is just put in the water, okay, mm -hmm. and after. It tastes very, very nice. Ah. Let's see, we've learned something here today, everyone. Yes. A parchment paper, if you... Uh, you put, you put, put in the water. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my. That is a, that is a really good tip. No, this, because... I have an outdoor uh, furno. Uh, yes. Exo. And oh, I... I, I I love wooden uh, oven. I love it. I, I have one. I have one outside. And the this is a good trick, wetting the paper, the parchment exactly. paper. Yeah, that is an, an excellent, excellent. Because idea. because if, if you notice the one is, is dry, it's very, very difficult to put in a place. Well, it's this. Yeah. <laughs> so all the, this time that I make, I cut the vegetables and we speak together, you know, I put my oven in a 200, in a professional ovens in the hotel, I put 180 degrees, degrees. I don't know, in the United States, you have another- Yeah, uh, that's Celsius. We'll, we'll convert it later. It's probably okay, okay, okay. around 350, but yeah. Okay, so in my home, I put 20 degrees more, you know, because okay. it's not professional, so. That's it. And uh, we put, we keep uh, 20, 20 minutes inside okay. uh, like this. And 10 minutes, I remove a little bit uh, the top of the paper. So oh, around so 20 minutes. Yeah, you so yeah. get some color. Some yes, color it, it, take, it, it takes around uh, 25, 30 minutes, you know, all these things. Okay. Uh, that, that's the whole meaning. Maybe another person uh, wants to put some garlic inside, a little bit of garlic, a little bit uh, when it marinates to put a little bit of mustard. There's no problem, you know. It's good, I'm just uh, telling the base. After everybody can do something, uh, what they love it more. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Well, thank yes. you. That's a great. What a great recipe and. This is, it's very it's very simple, very simple. It's, it's, it's yeah. you, and you don't and you don't need to have one normal person in his home. Doesn't need to have grills and all this. Uh, maybe when you put a fish in the pan after the 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 home we smell fish, you know. With yeah, this yeah. Uh, technique, it's very clean, very healthy, mm. and uh, very tasty. You know, that's well, that's, that's that's fantastic. And um, is um, I, I want to talk to you though a little bit about um, so when it's done, uh, maybe you can take a picture of it and send me the picture when it's done. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I, I will. Like. Okay, I will. Uh, I will uh, put it in. Uh, I will put it inside on the top here, and I will make a picture, and I will send you. Ah, that's yeah. perfect. So we so, have, we're, we're going to shout out to some people here. We also have, uh, uh, so, I'm sorry, I can't, the, the name is in uh, in Greek and my Greek isn't good enough to pick that up, but it's from Hamilton, Ontario. Ontario. Thank you, Canada, for, for joining in. Uh, uh, Danatria. Um, Dimitra, I'm sorry. My, Dimitra, my, Dimitra. Size, Dimitra. Can't see the Dimitra I can't see. It's too far off the screen, but thank you for coming <laughs> in from Canada. Um, and uh, but I so if people uh, right now you're you're also setting up menus for a hotel in um, Hadiriki, right? What was the name? Yes. Alexandros Palas is in uh, near to Nea Roda. Is okay. in the is is the third leg of Hadiriki. Okay, so the the really when the summertime happens, uh, uh, it then will will uh, 
people will be able to visit uh, to visit the hotel in uh, the it, spring and summer and uh, be able to to send. It will be my it will be my pleasure. Yeah, and oh, that's fantastic! Thank you, um, uh, Eleni uh, uh, is uh, also commenting here and hello and thank you for joining us, um, Chef. Thank you very much for uh, this wonderful dish. And you showed us some tricks we, we didn't know before. <laughs> and uh, so if you're visiting Thessaloniki, you now you know where to go. Some of the a couple oh, of the restaurants okay. where Chef Stefanos is at. And um, Chef, can you stick around? We're going to say goodbye, but then we're going to come back to you, okay? So don't okay. go anywhere. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't go anywhere. Yeah, stay just like that. Don't go. Said, one, okay. One second. Okay. Okay. Say, okay. Okay. Hey, thank you, everybody, for joining us and uh, for another episode of Cooking with Greek People. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're trying to grow our YouTube channel, so if you wouldn't mind going over to YouTube and uh, subscribing on YouTube, we'd really appreciate it. We're kind of getting close to that 1,000 uh, marks, 1,000 subscribers. After 1,000 subscribers, there's a lot more things that we can do with that channel because we want to do some fundraisers coming up. We want to do a fundraiser for uh, Nafplion, uh there and then later on we're going to do some fundraisers for the greek school of greek independence day we can get to that thousand it's easier to do those fundraisers so make sure you you hit subscribe and uh we're going to leave you now and uh thank you very much for joining us we're saying yes us. yes us. yes us. <laughs>